Abracadabra, Alakazam, NASA's run is over, give them a hand. It's done. It's finished, folks. Everybody wrap it up in NASA, because they've been exposed. This is the final straw. Say bye to NASA, because they got caught using blue screen. So while George H.W. Bush was visiting a NASA center, some cameraman accidentally caught a glimpse of a screen. And on that screen was somebody in the ISS standing in front of a blue screen. Hmm. I thought blue screens were just for movies, not for things in real life, right? So let's check this video out, okay? Did you see? Did, are you seeing that? Those arrows? Let me just show you this again in slow motion. change your background hmm. but if it was all real why would you need to I don't know no clue so here's a side-by-side -side using the blue screen versus what they actually filmed obviously the same person the same location it's a joke Same off-screen objects, so you know this is real. So what is blue screen? In film and video techniques such as chroma key, a blue or green background in front of which moving subjects are filmed and which allows a separately filmed background to be added to the final image. Hmm. So let's take a look we got some 300 using a blue screen putting in those clouds a man in a hot air balloon floating down a river oh or is he on a blue screen tarp thing hmm. then we got this man and this woman sailing along on on a lake oh is that a blue screen Hmm. We have this astronaut casually walking on the moon, uh, green screen. Then we have our boy in the space, I mean, the blue screen. Because how do we know that's a space station? They're just changing the background, right? I think that's just a zero G plane that they go in and they film all their stuff and they edit it all together and then they show it to us. So here's what the inside of a zero, of a zero G plane looks like, right? And then we see the ISS interior and boy, that just looks like a zero G plane. I think they just did this. See the red lines? Yeah, that's what we see of the ISS. And then the yellow lines are used to fill up space. I mean, what did they do? Did they just go to the computer junkyard and get a bunch of computers, threw in some wires, filled up that yellow space, and then created the ISS, built it, made it look so technological, 
Everyone was fooled. But that's not all. You might be doubting that this blue screen thing was real, right? You think they're actually up there? All right. So let me show you this footage of a, an astronaut floating in the ISS. And he turns the corner and goes into a little doorway. But, oh, oh, did you see that? I mean, did this, this nigga just went invisible. I mean, is he Violet from The Incredibles? He has superpowers that makes him go invisible? Hmm. Unlikely. Is he an alien? He's a secret race that can go invisible? Is that what you're thinking? Crazy people. No, I think it's just video manipulation, right? That's what it is. We can all assume that it's video manipulation because nobody can go invisible, right? I can't go invisible. And if it was video manipulation, that means there wasn't enough space back there to actually enter. They had to fade him out. They had to lower the opacity, right? I mean, look, he's invisible. I can see right through him. Why is that? I don't know. All I know is that if I was editing this video, I wouldn't lower the opacity while he was still in the view of the camera. I would do something like this, where he just floats along and you just cut off his body where the door hits. Something like that. Something that looks actually realistic. Instead of pulling some magic, some movie magic with the blue screen and we got the transparent astronaut. Yeah, this is just trickery, ladies and gentlemen. It's all it is. Just a bunch of trickery. So I'm calling BS on the ISS because it's obviously shot in a zero-G plane. There's no question. There's no question. If it was real, we wouldn't see a transparent person. We wouldn't see... A supposable ISS astronaut standing in front of a green, blue screen. It doesn't matter. They're doing something, and it's really shady. So either you believe them, the known liars, or you join the light side. And you start exposing these clowns.